Hey guys, welcome back to Initiate Science here, where science meets you. If you are new to this channel, we welcome you aboard. Hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get updates of the video we post. Now let's scroll the intro and move on to episode 7 of Sunday Tech Bits. Cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage, that is cloud storage, and computing power without direct active management by the user. The term is generally used to describe data centers available to many users over the internet. The term is generally used to describe data centers available to many users over the internet. Large clouds, predominantly today, often have functions distributed over multiple locations from central servers. If the connection to the user is relatively close, it may be designated an edge server. Cloud computing gives you remote access to computing, storage and networking resources within your data center or through a public cloud service provider. When it comes to deployment, cloud technologies deliver reliable, scalable, workload-optimized performance across enterprise applications. There are three main types of cloud environment, also known as cloud deployment models. Business can choose to run applications on public, private, or hybrid clouds depending on the specific requirements. There are three main service models of cloud computing. There is Infrastructure as a Service IaaS, Platform as a Service PaaS and Software as a Service SaaS. There are clear differences between the three and what they can offer a business in terms of storage and resource pooling. But they can also interact with each other to form one comprehensive model of cloud computing. Now let's mention the characteristics of cloud. 1. Available on demand. 2. Accessible from a network. 3. Resource pooling, overbooking. 4. Elastic scalability. 5. Measured service. 6. Service level agreements. 7. Multi tenancy. 8. Broad network access. 9. Rapid elasticity. 10. Resource pooling. 11. Measured services. Moving on to advantages of cloud computing 1. Easy implementation. 2. Improve disaster recovery. 3. Better collaboration and accessibility. 4. Reduced environmental impact. 5. More scalability and flexibility. 6. No hardware required. Now that we have discussed a few points on advantages, let's move on to disadvantages of cloud computing. Disadvantages 1. Reliance on the internet. 2. Misconfiguration risk. 3. Higher maintenance costs. 4. Bandwidth issues. 5. Fewer servers to handle for IT staff. But that doesn't mean you can let go of all servers and the staff. So cloud computing is an infrastructure and software system that allows for access to shared networks of storage, servers and applications over the internet. Cloud computing processes data and is provided by a privately owned cloud service or a third party cloud provider. The uses of cloud computing are not just limited to personal emails or storage. Rather, these scalable solutions have become the medium of choice for development, testing and deployment of software as well. Moving on to the top 10 uses of cloud computing. 1. Scalable usage 2. Chatbots 3. Communication 4. Productivity 5. Business process 6. Backup and recovery 7. Application development 8. Test and development 9. Big Data Analytics 10. Social Networking Here are some examples of such cloud services 1. Nerd Support Cloud 2. Salesforce 3. Creagio 4. Slack 5. Google Cloud 6. Microsoft 365 7. Workplace by OS 33 8. Adobe Creative Cloud 9. Microsoft Power BI 10. Box so that's it for this video. You can watch on more videos on similar topics in the coming slides. Thank you. Please do subscribe to our Initiate Science Chat channel.
by clicking on the subscribe button and also press on the all bell icon. Thank you.